you are well and having a beautiful September so far. I am overjoyed. Today we are transforming our home for the autumn season and I absolutely look forward to this day every single year. There's just so much excitement and I'm looking forward to sharing some new DIYs and decor ideas. And before we get into it all, we have a tradition around here. Every early September, especially on the day that we decorate, I love to share this poem by Morgan Harper Nichols. She's one of my favorite artists and poets. She's so incredibly talented and intentional and just has the most beautiful, inspiring musings. So I feel like these two poems are a great way to sort of ground us for the upcoming month and season. Let this be the September you always remember, the September you choose to accept. The best thing you could do was to let August fall behind you and with an open heart embrace this new day that lies before you. This month, remember that joy is more than just staying positive. Joy is a way of living, a way of looking for light in the midst of it all. Joy is transformational and contagious. Joy can be shared through action. So beautiful. That's precisely what I hope to do this month and the months to come. So I love to share her works with you all because they inspire me, so I hope they inspire you as well. And again, just really looking forward to celebrating alongside each other. So our game plan for decorating. Typically, I like to begin with any of those obvious decor pieces that I put in the same place every year, their rightful place. So we'll go ahead and do that. And today we're decorating all of our living spaces. So our living room, our kitchen, the tablescape, entryway, that's what we're going to cover and then we're going to take another day to do our bedroom and porch and maybe some other little nooks of our home but we have a lot to cover a lot of crafts that i hope to bring to fruition so really looking forward to it but again let's just go ahead and begin with those obvious pieces and i actually have two boxes right here i still need to unpack so i want to go ahead and pack everything spread it out on this table so we can visualize it all and then we'll go from there. for the past couple of years and I just love the warm tones it adds to our kitchen space. Also, I just hung up the command hook a little while ago and I'm noticing it's not in the center whatsoever. It is crooked and not symmetrical, but you know, I think it'll do. I think it'll just be fine once we kind of hide it with our beautiful wreath. Okay, okay, how does she look? Might need to adjust, but thankfully there's lots of little nooks and crannies that the command hook can secure itself, so it's pretty easy to adjust. So I might need to put it a little lower. Let's see. Oh no, I pulled off the whole command hook now. Before we put together our coffee station, one thing we need to do is pull down our autumn mugs. So I did end up packing up quite a few of them because they were in the boxes, but I also keep some of them up here. I suppose I have more Christmas mugs, so I think there's just a couple up there, but I want to go ahead and pull those down. And then another thing I like to do is put some of our obvious like spring, I still use springtime mugs this time of year, but any other mugs, we can store them at the top to make way for the autumn ones. So 
I think our little coffee stamp jars are so cute, but I literally never use them. I used to use them when I first set it up, but I'm just not as big on the syrups anymore, but they still look very cute, so I've kept them there. Okay, now time to pick our four feature mugs. Who shall it be? I mean, that is just adorable. I love it. In this little corner, I put a framed photo of us in New York last October. I love this photo. It just brings back all of the memories. And then I have this cute little pumpkin container, which I put this here last year, I believe. And it's perfect because I always keep some kind of container out with our ginger. I use ginger quite a bit. So I'm going to add it to this pumpkin now. Perfect, perfect. And then something I may want to try later if we get time is to give this artwork a little autumn overlay. I was thinking, I've seen people do this before and I really love it. Basically, I could potentially paint over some of the flowers and make them maybe some orange toned flowers, maybe paint on some pumpkins in front of the little cottage. I don't know. I'm a little I'm a little apprehensive because I'm definitely not a painter. So, we'll see, but this is a art printout, so I have the file if I want to print it out again, and it could be something fun to try. Okay, this is either going to look really cute or really ridiculous, but you never know until you try. So, I have been loving yarn, and I love to wear it in my hair, but I just think the texture is so beautiful. So I was thinking, what if we took a piece of yarn and we tied it on the pendant light? I don't know. Let's give it a try. I just love the texture of this and how thick it is. And I feel like it could add a little flair. I've added decorations up on this area for different get togethers, like baby showers and bridal showers. I've never really decorated for a season with these pendant lights. It's a perfect spot to hang like a banner, but I don't really have a banner and I don't really want to block the wreath. So let's see. If it doesn't work here, I'm sure we can find another spot to add some yarn and incorporate that texture. And this might be something too where I just have to like leave it for a little bit and see. That's what I had to do with that wreath on the stove top or the vent hood. At first, I was so unsure just because it looked so different, but now, obviously, I love it. Okay, what do we think? Does it look like spider legs? Okay, it's, it's not really giving what I was hoping it would give. It's hard to see the bow. We brought it higher. Uh, it's just kind of floppy. I need to like add floral wire or something. Oh, that might actually be kind of adorable. If I added floral wire to keep the bow in place and then I cut these a tiny bit, I'm kind of liking this idea. It just needs to be executed a little more intentionally. Let's go get our floral, floral wire. So essentially I'm taking a little piece of floral wire and I'm going to try to weave it through the yarn. I also am noticing that I desperately need to clean these pendant lights. They're very dusty, but they're not very fun to clean. So I avoid it. <laughs> Dish drying. 
a storm rolling in. There's been some major thunder sounds. It's actually perfect. It really sets the cozy mood. stormy weather, I would say now it's the perfect time to make some cinnamon tea. It is actually the next morning. Last night, well, the rain started in the afternoon, but then it just kept coming and coming and we were really enjoying the storm and I really wanted to make a soup and just be cozy. So that's what we did. We had a really chill night and I put decorating on pause, but we are back in business today. I'm in the same dress because I've declared this dress my official decorating dress of the season. So yeah, we're gonna get moving again today. Still have quite a bit I'd love to do. So I didn't wanna rush and do it yesterday, especially with the storm. It just was, it was time to be cozy. So we're excited to be back at it today though. We have these pumpkin pillows that we made a couple of years ago that I know I'm gonna put on the couch. I love to have them just in the center of our living room because they're so cute. I followed my friend Christine's, she has this beautiful home account called For The Home and she put together this fabulous DIY tutorial of these pillows. I still can't believe we were able to make them because they just look so cute and it is relatively easy. She really maps it out beautifully so that it's pretty seamless to follow. I do need to give this one some hot glue surgery though. Another one of my favorite decor staples is working with dried floral. I go on and on about this every single season pretty much, but I just love it because it adds such an earthy and organic feel to the home and it's super low maintenance, which is fabulous and you can reuse it time and time again. So most of this dried floral we've used, we're able to reuse from past years. I did have to discard some of it last year for the ones that are the pieces that I used on our outdoor wreath because some of these eucalyptus strands are dyed so essentially the humidity sucked out the dye and it would just start dripping and kind of get a little mildewy so that's the only case where you can't reuse it but everything within the home we are able to reuse which I love. So I have three vessels here that I want to create a bouquet and floral piece in. So this is the vessel that we put in our entryway. So we have that. And then this one I like to keep in the center of our island. And then this I'm going to put on our coffee table. And then most of this dried floral I used last year for a banner along our staircase banister. And that was really, really lovely. And I would like to do that again, but I was thinking before we even do that, I want to try to create a 
floral piece along our media console so underneath our tv just like a banner along the edge never tried that before so we'll see how we feel about it but i feel like that would even be more eye-catching so i want to go ahead and prioritize that and then we'll see about the staircase banister but switching it up a little bit Here are the arrangements we pieced together. I absolutely love them. I love how wild they look and whimsical. I just find them to be so beautiful. And this one, I have this eucalyptus that's really out there, but again, I just love how it sort of strays to and from. And again, just looks wild and organic. So really happy with them. And we still have a plethora of dried florals. So I'm feeling good about being able to make our um, DIY floral banners and I will say I love dried floral for many reasons but it is very messy so I've already cleaned up a bit but it just leaves like a lot of little pieces but totally worth it if you ask me Now for one of my favorite places to decorate, our floating shelves near our kitchen. I have so much fun with this space because there really is so much potential and it's just great to switch out different pieces for each season and keep them on display. So I need to go ahead and store these colorful wine glasses. I love using these for hosting, but of course they are more of those pastel and bright colors so i'll probably still use them here and there but we're going to switch things out and i'm so excited we have our our teacups that we found at the thrift store when shopping our beautiful teacups i don't know if i'll display all of these on the shelf still or just some of them and then these teacups up here are from my grandma and i absolutely love them she served apple cider in them for Thanksgiving last year and I loved them so much and so she ended up giving them to me for Christmas. Also, I really need to repot our Monstera. It is absolutely overflowing out of its pot, but it's still relatively happy with a lot of new growth. I just know it's absolutely bursting out of the current pot. showed you these yet but I thrifted these the other day three of them and they are so cute time to do our artwork switcheroo I just keep the art stored in this picture frame so I have a different 
piece for summer and for winter and then for autumn. I thought about switching it out this year, but I still like it. So we will keep it, but that's the beauty. That's a pretty um, affordable way to add some seasonal touches is printing out a piece of artwork. I believe the one I downloaded was a couple dollars and then I printed it out. I printed out a poster size piece of art from Walgreens. So pretty attainable and really fun to switch out. I think we should switch one out for spring this time. I usually just do the beachy one for spring, but we have a lot of potential of doing a really beautiful floral piece. So I'll have to make note of that for this upcoming spring season. Oh, this is the pumpkin that I did the first year. And then I switched to, oh, this is our winter one. And then I switched to this one, which I still really like. artwork that I want to put where this frame is but I don't really want to take this artwork out and it has this border which I could remove but to, just to make my life easier I'm going to add double sided tape to this art print and just stick it over top of the frame and that'll just be sufficient and really beautiful and this is special because part of my family is actually from Kansas and I absolutely love sunflowers. I pulled all of the remaining pieces off of our kitchen table because I want to work on the tablescape now and I want to do something similar to last year. I pretty much just decorated in the middle of the runner so that's the plan. However, I have these really really sweet placemats that I thrifted last season but I thrifted them in late November so I didn't really have much time to use them. They're really, really beautiful and such perfect tones for this time of year. So I love our current placemats, but I don't know, should I switch it out? Could I layer it somehow? It's not the best for layering. Maybe I could do like a little, I don't know. I want it to be practical because we always keep these placemats and then we just bring our food to the table. So I want it to still be manageable. These are really, really cute. I can just keep them for serving, for hosting and whatnot, but I don't know. It feels like a shame not to incorporate them. I could even, potentially, I could even layer them over the runner. I actually like this idea. Like layer them on top of each other over the runner, and that would actually work because I have some melted taper candle wax that I couldn't get out, so that could kind of cover it and just add more texture and visual interest. So I think we'll play around with that and give it a try. I can't believe they were 49 cents each. They're so beautiful. I 
was looking for an art print that I could download for our TV that I liked. I liked the one from last year, but I don't know. I was just thinking maybe switching it up. This is my Halloween one, which I definitely plan to put closer to Halloween, but this is the one I've had before. And I like it. It honestly could go for spring. Oh, it's pulling really pink on camera. It's a lot more of a tan, um, more muted tone in real life. But I'll just keep it for now. I like it. But maybe I'll spend some time trying to source another one. Actually, you know what? I'm not so crazy about it. <laughs> the more I'm looking about the more I'm looking at it, the more I want something a lot more moody. I was looking for some maybe like bookstore one but I couldn't find any that I loved, but maybe if I spend more time, I'll find something. That's more like it. That really just transports me to a fall wonderland. Okay, now we're gonna try our hand with the media console banner. And I was thinking last year I used a sort of twine as the base for the staircase. And I was thinking, excuse me, sir. I was thinking we could use this yarn instead. We'll see. It actually make, might make our job easier because I can sort of thread the florals in between the pieces of the yarn. We'll see, we'll see. Loving this situation. I feel like it's such a great addition and even much more of a showstopper and focal point than our staircase banister was, which I still might do because we really, we really have a fair share of dried florals still left. But I also want to save some for uh, outdoor wreath DIY. So I'm content with just putting that on hold. And I have one other <laughs> decor idea that I want to try before we call it a day and this again is either going to be really fun or just not very cute so the thought stemmed from our paper snowflakes that we hang in our living room around christmas time and i just love the dimension and visual interest that adds and it really brings your eye up and i don't know i think it's so lovely so i was thinking what could we do for the autumn season and I've been especially into books this year and I just feel like they're such a great element to add to your fall space, whatever it may be. So I have these book prints and I was thinking we could hang them from the ceiling. Again, it may look totally crazy or it may be really cute and a fun element. And as I was thinking that too and looking at all our extra dried floral, should I put a little dried floral with the book page or am I getting ahead of myself? We're just gonna need to play around with it to see what we what we think. Okay, here we go. Not so sure about it, but you never know until you try. I use a little clear push pin to secure it at the top to the ceiling, and I still see little holes where the snowflakes were, so that's actually kind of helpful. Okay, it's hard to tell <laughs> with one of them up there, but actually, I think I love it. It, again, it's a little too early to tell, but I like the little flower on it too. Okay, let's keep going. Do we see the vision? Okay, I kind of love it. I might look a little quirky on video because you can't, you know, sometimes the pages are turned so you can't really see clearly how many they are and how staggered they are, but I think they're really fun and just something different. You know, I like to try different decor ideas. So I thought this was a fun one. I'm excited to see what you guys think. And it is getting quite dark. The sun's about to set. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some detailed shots of our decor in the daylight. And then I wanna give you a tour with everything at dusk.
Okay, it's time for the full tour. You walk in, you're greeted by an adorable puppy, and then you have the entryway. I lit the candles and everything to really show the ambiance, and we have our beautiful art print. I need to change the battery in that light, but just pretend it has a nice glow to it. Lovely, lovely. And then you turn, you have the office. We have our elements that we added. I just love this vine so much, this Swiss cheese plant. Soon enough, it'll look like living wallpaper just all around. I was saying maybe we should start training it to grow on the ceiling too. That would look pretty wild and exciting. So maybe we'll do that, but we have our little touches here. And then we have the powder bath, which we also added a few little touches, our soap dispenser, the dried floral, our towel. I also put a little pumpkin candle over here. So that's great. And then where to next, Palmer? The kitchen, we have the kitchen. We have our bows. I forgot we did that. The bows on the pendants, super cute. The wreath, our kitchen island with our dried floral arrangement, our incense and candle, whichever you prefer, and some mushrooms. And then this is just getting me so excited to make tons and tons of soup this season. I love this soup or <laughs> pumpkin Dutch oven. Definitely will be using that a bunch, just like I did last year. Our little corner with our New York print, our ginger container the coffee station full circle moment pretty much where we began our decorating adventure all the little details i also ended up adding this little cutting board underneath the creamer container just thought that kind of grounded it and was a nice addition and now off to oh we have our little section over here and then our kitchen towels our floating shelves love 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 i also love these little containers to put soup in has a little lid to keep it nice and warm and then our tablescape lovely lovely it is a little busy with our you know additional placemats but i like it i find it very charming okay and then in this little shelf situation i added one pumpkin actually one pumpkin and then one little pumpkin candle so we have little tidbits snuck in there and then our living room, last but not least, of course, our pumpkin pillows, some more pillows, our little coffee table additions. <laughs> Look at our book pages just floating around in the air conditioning. So cute. It's very whimsical. And then we have our DIY flower banner, which I didn't even really secure it since it's just lying flat on the top of the media console. It didn't really take much to secure it so that's pretty much it we have another little candle over here and that's our home for the autumn season ready to make lots of sweet memories here I really hope you enjoyed this video and all of the decoration ideas. I'm so excited for what's to come this season and I hope you have a beautiful autumn.